Hey everybody, Jack here from Afgrome. Today we're going to talk about this, the DJI Mavic Mini, and this, the DJI Mavic Air 2. And people want to know, if I'm looking for my first drone, I'm a beginner, what should I get? Should I go with the Mavic Mini? Or should I go with the Mavic Air 2? They're both excellent drones. The Mini starting at $399, and the Mavic Air 2, basically twice the price at $799. How do you know which one is the best one for you? Well, let's take a closer look. All right, let's talk quick specs. Mavic Mini, 400 meter range. Mavic Air 2, 10,000 meter range. Mavic Mini, 2.7K camera. Mavic Air 2, 4K camera. Obstacle avoidance, no obstacle avoidance. Top speed, 42 and a half miles an hour. Top speed, 29 miles an hour. Mavic Mini, 30 minute flight time. Mavic Air 2, 34 minute flight time. When you're talking about flight time, it's one of those things that matters so much in where you're flying. So don't really ever expect to get your full optimum flight time. It really kind of matters the wind, how you fly, where you fly, uh, what you're doing while you're flying. There are so many factors. The other thing is this little mini on a windy day, it's going to suck a whole lot more battery than this comparable Mavic Air 2. So just kind of keep that in mind. How you fly and when you fly absolutely does affect your battery life. Before you can decide which one is best for you, you kind of have to start with the Mini. Now, the Mini, I've got it here in my pocket. That's right, it is the smallest of the DJI drones. And not only is it the smallest, it's also the lightest. And that is super important because it is the only drone with a full three axis gimbal and a good camera that you can get that's under 250 grams. Now 250 grams is the magic number here in the United States and actually in a lot of different countries where the regulations and things aren't quite as strict. So in the United States, if your drone is over 250 grams, you have to pay a $5 fee and register it uh, with the FAA. Because this is under that weight limit, you don't have to do that. And that's a big deal to a lot of people. The other thing you have to know about this drone is it's the least expensive. This is absolutely the best drone you can buy for less than $500. It's $399. You will not find a camera that's nearly as capable as this at a better price. Now there are plenty of drones out there that claim 4K cameras that are $200. Listen, I have flown them all. You can see a lot of them behind me. This is absolutely the best camera that you can get on a drone any drone that costs less than $500, and this thing is $400 to start. There's also something to be said for the simplicity of this drone. It doesn't have a ton of modes. In fact, there are four quick shot modes. That's it. Otherwise, you're just flying around. So if you want something that's very simple and easy to use, the Mavic Mini is the drone for you. If you need something that's light, the Mavic Mini is the drone for you. If cost is a super important factor, well, $400, this is the best bang for your buck that you can get. Uh, we've even done some professional real estate photography with this drone. Yes, it can handle that. Is it ideal? Absolutely not. But if you've got some practice under your belt, you can take some really high quality pictures and video with this drone. Now the Mavic Air 2 is absolutely a step up from the Mavic Mini. It is of course twice the price at $799, but there are a whole lot of reasons why you may want to opt for this drone instead. First and foremost, one of the most important things I think is the, the video transmission or the range on this drone, right? The Mavic Air 2 has a best case scenario of 10,000 meters, right? That's over six miles of range. Now you don't want to be flying your drone that far, but the OcuSync system on this is far superior to the Wi-Fi range system on the Mini. That matters if you fly in places where there is other Wi-Fi, that could cause interference. You're not going to get interference like you would with the Mini on the Mavic Air 2. Better range, better reliability, better signal strength. The other thing that's important is this camera is better. Now yes, it can shoot 4K at 60 frames a second. The Mavic Mini is limited to 2.7K. I personally almost never shoot at 4K. I just, I feel like it's overkill. The file sizes are huge. I don't like editing them. But that said, there are a lot of other really good features in this camera that the Mini just doesn't possess. For starters, this has HDR. HDR is a game changer and will make your pictures, your panos, and your videos sharper and clearer. It takes a handful of different exposures and puts them together for an optimum picture. 
it's really easy to use on the Mavic Air 2, something called Smart Photo, where it kind of decides do you need to use an HDR, or even if you're flying at night, it has a night mode, also super nice on this drone. In addition to that, you also have the option to take 48 megapixel photos so you can zoom in and get much better detail. So there are a lot of different photo and video options on this that you just can't do with the Mavic Mini. So the smart photo option is really nice. Uh, if it's night, it takes pictures in night mode. So the two pictures on the left you can see are using night mode, and then the two pictures on the right, they're just kind of duplicates, mirrors, but just standard pictures. You can see they're not, not nearly as bright. They're a little bit darker. You don't have quite the detail that you would using night mode or smart photo. Now let's take a quick comparison uh, at a picture that I took with the mini. That's the upper left hand corner. Uh, then I took that same picture with the Mavic Air 2, right? No, no tricks there. Uh, below that, the bottom right hand corner, I have that same picture in HDR. You can see a little bit more detail in the sky, some more colors. And then the bottom left hand corner, there's that same picture, but then zoomed in, I use the 48 megapixel option so that I can get a lot more detail out of that same picture. Even standard 1080p is is better on this on the Mavic Air 2 because you can shoot up to 240 frames per second. That means you can slow things down a whole lot. Whereas on the Mini, you're limited to 30 frames a second. The Mavic Air 2 also has some additional flight modes. Now they both have the four quick shots and even the quick shots are a little bit different on the Mavic Air 2. On the Mavic Mini, your quick shots, your drone, your rocket, your circle, and your helix are all limited to 120 feet. Now on the Mavic Air 2, you don't have that 120 foot limit. Uh, they're somewhere between 380 and 390 feet. I believe kind of depends on the quick shot, how far you can go. That is a significant dif difference. This also adds the asteroid and boomerang quick shots, which are really cool and unique quick shots as you can't do on the Mavic Mini. In addition to that, you can also do a handful of different hyperlapse modes on the Mavic Air 2. Hyperlapses are awesome, unique ways to get really creative in different sort of footage. You'll also notice that on the Mavic Air 2, we've got obstacle avoidance sensors on the front as well as on the rear of this. And because you have obstacle avoidance on this drone, DJI has added some additional features. The most important of those being Active Track 3.0. That means you can follow a subject with this drone. You can't really do that on the Mavic Mini. It has Point of Interest 3.0. And it also has DJI's built-in A-Pass obstacle avoidance system so that if you're flying, it'll fly around an obstacle rather than just stop. There are a handful of other interesting features about that Mavic Air 2 that I really like. One is this remote. I like the way that it feels. It, your phone is top mounted, which is not necessarily better, but the thing that I do like is this remote will charge your cell phone while you're flying. So if you're low on battery, you don't necessarily have to worry like you would if you were flying at any other Mavic drone. You'll also notice on the bottom of the Mavic Air 2, we have an LED light that is awesome, especially for night landings or dusk landings. You light out that area below and you can see where you're landing. So yes, the Mavic Air 2 adds a whole lot of additional features. I like it because it gives you the ability to grow as a photographer. Now, if you're looking for just the basics, yes, the Mavic Mini is an excellent drone, but if you're looking for something that you can kind of grow with, this Mavic Air 2 is an excellent option. Now, is it on par with a Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom? In some cases, yes. In other cases, no. Chris is putting together a video highlighting all of those things. So it's a beautiful day today. I'm done talking. I'm going to do some flying. Which drone do you guys think I've got in the backpack? Anyway, if this was helpful, make sure you guys check out uh, halfchrome.com. We've got tons of stuff, tons of Mavic Mini, tons of Mavic Air. We've got charts and things galore. We've also done a ton of videos on both of these drones, so check out our YouTube channel. Hey, if you like this, go ahead and click that subscribe. I'm done talking. Let's get flying.